Hi, welcome back to my channel. Oshile here, and you're watching Oshi Reads. I know it's been a while, but happy Black History Month! I feel like I need to have some type of iconic song that just encapsulates everything that this month represents, but I ain't got it. I didn't think about... Uh, here we go with the not speaking thing already. I'm on brand. Mm. But um, I didn't think about it before this video, so I ain't got it. Maybe I'll think about it in editing. If I do, I will insert it here. And hopefully I'm on rhythm. Hopefully I'm on rhythm. If that doesn't work out, it's gonna be really disappointing. But I basically have my phone because I have my questions. Now. I thought about this a lot. I wanted to talk to y'all about my reading plans for the month and whew, still annoyed we get the shortest month of the year, but that's fine. We won't discuss it here. But uh, yeah, I wanted to talk to y'all about my reading plans and I really wanted to create a tag and this is no disrespect to the ame me amazing, amazing read soul lit tag that's out there that was created by Dee Dee from Brown Girl Reading. Go check out her tag. I freaking love it. But I just wanted to create something else <laughs> it's not sim it's similar to her tag and yet not so I wanted to create something different and I wanted to call it the black history month tag I just really want a tag named the black Hi history month tag that exists here on booktube if it already exists I couldn't find it in the search so I'm sorry I don't mean to discredit anyone or slight or shade okay anybody but I just I you know, enlighten me y'all, enlighten me. Y'all follow a lot of people, so enlighten me if this has already been done. I searched, I couldn't find it. I found Dee Dee's tag, which again is amazing. Definitely go do it, check it out. Her channel is great. But I just wanted something called the Black History Month tag that had different questions. And yeah, let's jump right into it. I got my phone, I got my questions, let's go. Number one, what book are you looking forward to reading the most in honor of Black History Month or rereading? Y'all know I'm a huge rereader, so what book are you looking forward to reading? And then part two, what book are you looking forward to rereading? Okay, so for question number one, I will show you the book that I am most looking forward to reading this month. And here we have it, I Almost Forgot About You by Terry McMillan. I purchased this last year during a Barnes & Noble sale. That's why my hand is covering up that ugly bargain sticker. I hate it so much. I tried to get it off like 10 minutes before this video. I failed. Look at it shame 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 me it's so bad it's so bad i don't know what to do but yeah my hand will be covering it for the duration of this video because i just can't the problem is you can't really see her now it's okay it's okay so anyways terry mcmillan's i almost forgot about you is basically about a woman who's getting her life back okay it's very stellar got her groove back but not quite um back here on the dust jacket it just says successful but stuck in a rut it's time for georgia to shake things up so Dr. Georgia Young, she has a wonderful life, she has great friends and family, she's very successful in her career, but it's not enough for her to not feel stuck and just restless in her life, right? So she decides to make some major changes and she decides to quit her job as an optometrist and move, her, move houses and then she finds herself on a wild journey that may or may not include a second chance of, at love. Y'all know I'm a sucker for love stories. I primarily read romance right now in this point in my life and I'm loving it. I, I'm holding out on turning my channel into a romance channel no offense to the romance readers out there, but I just don't want to put myself in a niche and a box like that, even though that is 90% of what I read. This is definitely a different video. Let's get back on track. Okay, so um, Georgia's bravery reminds us that it's never too late to become the person you want to be, that taking chances with your life and your heart are always worthwhile. This is just that feel good read that I really like having in a month. So yes, looking forward to reading this one the most, I know. Now, a book I'm looking forward to rereading, this is kind of a cheat because I didn't technically finish this book like two years ago when I had it on my Black History Month TBR. I will link the video right now in the cards. And this is Dear Martin by Nick Stone. And I really got into it the first couple chapters and then I put it down and I never picked it back up and I don't know why, I don't know what happened. Probably fell into a reading slump, story of my life. But I definitely wanna revisit this work and get past the few chapters I did get into and just finish it. It's very short and cute and I love Nick Stone. Her Instagram is lit. She always has the best outfits, y'all. Literally, the best outfits. But yes, I definitely want to get back into this and finish it and let y'all know my thoughts. Question number three. Do you have a Black History Month TBR? If so, please share it now. Are you ready? Are you ready? Y'all know how it is with me and TBRs, right? It's like 
striking zero. It's not, it's not, it's not good. But you know, let's try. So I have the stars and the blackness between them, and this one is by um, Junata Petrus. And I have been looking forward to reading this since last year. This is actually an advanced reader's copy that was given to me very kindly by the publishers. And I'm super excited to finally get into this. I've heard nothing but amazing things from reviewers and booktubers that I respect who have read this. So I cannot wait to get into it myself. This is a coming of age story about 16 year, 16 year old Audrey who is being sent to live in America because her mom caught her with her girlfriend and in Trinidad this is just not accepted which is very sad and so she goes to live with her dad in America and of course she's adjusting, she falls in love again with another girl and I just, oh, I'm just looking forward to it. I love it. I finally want to dip my toe into the Jasmine Guillory waters and finally get into the proposal. I've read the first two chapters and listened to it a little bit on audiobook, but I just, I really need to get back into this book and finish it. Jasmine Guillory has gotten a lot of praise and a lot of people love her. It's kind of light romantic comedy that she writes, so I definitely am looking forward to finally diving in. Can you guys even see this? My lights are like killing me. <laughs> getting into the proposal. I don't know what that face was. And then last but not least on my Black History Month TBR is the iconic, yes, Slay by Brittany Morris. I was highly anticipating this last year and for whatever reason, I never picked it up. I think, I don't know, I, sometimes with me, with books that I'm highly anticipating, when they finally come to my door and I have them in my hands, for some reason I psych myself out and then I just don't read them for months and months or years and years. Anyone else like this? Am I alone? But anywho's, I finally am gonna get into this and I'm super excited. I mean, a black girl gamer who invents amazing, an amazing video game. Number four, are there any new releases by a black American author you're highly anticipating? Yes, shameless plug coming up in five, four, three, two, my book club, A Seat at the Table book club. This is our pick for our first quarter and this is Black Girl Unlimited by Echo Brown and it is a, an, um, how do I describe this? It is an autobiographical fantasy with mm, magical realism elements. I don't know, basically Black Girl Magic, literally, Black Girl Wizard. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Uh, this came out in January and <laughs> we're going to be discussing it in March. So I'll probably be reading it towards the end of the month into the beginning of March. But you know, I want to make sure that all the details in the plot are fresh in my mind for when we do our live stream, which is going to be on the third Sunday of the month in March. So, <laughs> and we also have another live stream coming up this third Sunday of this month in February. That made no sense, but basically the third Sunday of this month. And we're talking about Black Men Read too. So stay tuned. It's gonna be 6 p.m. I will announce it a little bit closer to the date. Don't worry. But yes, Black Girl Unlimited, I'm here. I'm here, I'm here. Question number five. What was your favorite read by a Black American author from the previous year? Okay, okay. Okay, I got you. Looking for some recommendations. I got you. I don't know why I'm talking like this when I made up the questions myself. You know, I started taking my vitamins again and now I have all this energy. Can y'all tell? I don't know if this is my favorite favorite. I didn't do enough research on this one and sat and really thought about it. But I love, love Belvin. Y'all know I rave about her all the time on my channel. She writes black love stories and her series last year, she completed it, the Sadiq series. And I will put the cover somewhere on the screen, but it starts with book one, He Who Is A Friend. Book two is He Who Is A Lover. And she completed the series with book three, He Who Is A Protector. And that series brought me so much joy last year. <gasps> Desiree, oh my gosh, Desiree. I talk about her, I, I haven't posted the video yet, it'll probably go up after this one, about my favorite series of the decade and I talked about her at length, at nauseum. Okay, Desiree, I'm not gonna go about it, go on about it here because I'm probably gonna post that video next but be on the lookout for me gushing about Desiree because Desiree, okay, which, which book? All of them, freaking all of them. Okay, so this one is including black American authors across the, di not black American, black authors across the diaspora. As we all know, Black History Month is honoring black Americans, but I wanted to include 
black people across the diaspora because slowly but surely as we get more people from all over the diaspora more black people from all over diaspora kind of moving in and out of the states and moving around the world Black History Month has really expanded, especially with social media, and it's becoming very global. We always want to center it around Black Americans and honoring our civil rights leaders and our heroes in the Black American history, and also our Black American writers and poets and artists and singers and dancers, etc. But I also like the fact that it is becoming a global phenomenon. I think that's amazing. So I wanted to include this question and say your favorite book by a Black by a black author from across the diaspora of the previous year. You know, I should have just read it. You know, I should have just read it. What was your favorite read by a black author across the diaspora from the previous year? There we go. There we go. I didn't just grab the book, but my answer to that is What It Means When a Man Falls from the Sky by Leslie Nyeka Arima. Oh my god. That read is a masterpiece. Highly recommended to everybody. Like seriously, everybody. Please go pick that up. It was amazing. Number seven, what classic black American literary work would you recommend to someone new to reading black literature? This one for me is a no brainer. I couldn't find my copy of it, but I am looking to get a new copy anyway that is more aesthetically pleasing. But basically Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison is one of my all time favorite books ever. And I, it's so hard for me to put into words the feeling that I get in the depths of my soul every time I read that work and how much it's meant to me since I read it as a little girl of 12 or 13. And every time I reread it, I have the nostalgia of my first, second, third time reading it. And then every time I read it is always at a pitiful, pivotal point in my life and I get more understanding and I empathize more and I learn more and I connect more and ugh, Toni Morrison is the queen and she will be forever, may she rest in peace, of black lit. But you guys can see how much I love, love, love this work. I highly recommend Song of Solomon to everyone. Get into the magic. You will be forever changed. You're welcome. Eight. What are your favorite Black American authors and which of their books is your favorite? <laughs> you guys know favorite questions really trip me up, but I know a lot of people have favorites, right? And it's really for y'all. But for me, I have a ton of favorite people, so I just kind of want to spotlight one person right now. Lighting James Baldwin. James Baldwin. <laughs> you know what? He is the king of black American black American lit. If Toni Morrison is the queen, then James Baldwin is the king. And let me see. Go tell it on the mountain. Please read. If Beale Street could talk, please read. Uh, oh, the fire next time. The fire next time. Read the fire next time. That is my all time. Number one, the fire next time. Number two, go tell it on the mountain if Beale Street could talk. Those are my top three right now. I really want to read Giovanni's Room and I also really want to read Tree. I've heard Another Country is life-changing. So I'm savoring his books. I've spread them out across years now. I started reading him when I was in college and it changed my life. I was like, where, 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 where have you been the whole time? Where have you been? Why did I just find you now? What's, what's wrong? But yes, I'm getting emotional just thinking about James Baldwin. This is weird. I didn't expect this, but I love him. <sighs> Please go check out his works. A lot of my favorite Black American writers are actually playwrights. I recommend Susan Laurie Parks. Ugh, Susan Laurie Parks. If you've never really read plays for entertainment and not just, most people don't read plays, but it will change you. It will change you. Please do it. Hansberry famously wrote A Raisin in the Sun. Wilson. Fences. Oh, Fences is so good. A Lesson. Joe Turner's Come and Gone. Come on. Seriously, if you pride yourself on reading a lot of black lit, you have to get into black playwrights. You just have to. It's a whole part of black American history of, of black American writing history, right? And arts that you're totally missing. You have to get into it. The late Nishange Shang, who wrote um, Girls Who Have Considered Suicide slash When the Rainbow is Enough. There we go. That was gonna be Hughes, Alice Childress, Anna Devere Smith. Oh, underrated, but such good stuff. Raka, also known as Leroy Jones. Oh my God, Lynn Nottage. 
Lynn Nottage. Oh, Lynn Nottage. Anymore, y'all. It would take me forever if I had to list all of my favorites, but start there. Start with the ones I listed. Start there. Number nine, the final question, last but final, but certainly not least, is, and because you should be reading black literature and black stories year round, yes, I'm calling you out and talking about you, you who saves all your black, black books for Black History Month, the shortest month of the year, trying to cram, all, cram them all in, nah, nah, okay? You can and should, you can and should read black lit literature, let's do that again, take two. You can and should read black literature and black stories year round. You hear me? You, you get what I'm saying here? Year round, okay? No excuses. Okay? No excuses. Anyways, um, what, what books by black authors do you plan on reading this year? Now this is very YA heavy because these are just some books I grabbed off my shelf because they're pretty and yes, I do plan on reading them this year because I didn't get to them last year, but I digress. Here we go. The highly acclaimed and ever popular fantasy Kingdom of Souls by Irina Barron. Brittany is like cursing me out because I have not gotten to this one yet. She is the queen of fantasy, but I'm excited to get to this and oh, yes, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Especially because I think the sequel comes out soon. I'm ready. Of course, I'm going to read The Forgotten Girl by India Hill Brown, our very own books and big hair here on booktube. I'm so proud of her. She's an incredible human being and congrats on her baby that she's expecting. Great things happening for India. Her book, I think, has made it onto the an NAACP awards list for black fiction, black literature, I don't know if it's, I think for kids, which is a phenomenal achievement. But yes, I've heard nothing but amazing things about this. It's a ghost story. Yes. Middle grade book. Cannot wait. Middle grade book and this one for our boys and girls, but you know, Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky by Kwame Mbalia. I can't wait. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here for the fantasy, for the magical realism aspects, for the Illustrations. Are there illustrations in here? I don't think so. No, it's a legit chapter book with no illustrations. Another middle grade. I don't even know where I left off because my camera shut off for overheating story of my life. But yes, Tristan Strong punches a hole in the sky. I'm down. Anyways, The Revolution of Bertie Randolph by Brandy Colbert. Colbert. I've talked about this already on this channel. A lot of this are basically the new releases that I pre-ordered from last year. Um, if y'all have read my no buy video or read, wow, watched my no buy video, then you kind of get where I am with book buying for this year. But I really want to catch up on all of my pre-releases and pre-orders from last year that I didn't read last year. But yes, this is one of them. I was highly anticipating this one and I have a couple more, so stay tuned. Dear Haiti, Love Elaine, and this one is by co-authors. Micah Mulit and Maritza Mulit. So sisters, and I feel like I butchered their names, but Micah and Maritza is how I'm pronouncing it. Mulit. Molut, Mulit. I don't know why I do this. I hate when people mispronounce my name and then I do it to others. It ain't right. Another book I was highly anticipating, Daughters of Neri by Reni K. Amayo. I think I got that one. Daughters of Neri. Yes, yes, yes. I've heard nothing but amazing things too. This is another fantasy. I'm here. I'm here. The cover. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Full disclosure by Cameron Garrett. This one is a contemporary. The cover is very beautiful. It looks very deep, introspective. Like it's covering some serious topics here. Can't wait. And finally, the highly acclaimed, much raved about, The Water Dancer. Vanessa Coates. I can't wait to get into this. I've heard great things. I've heard the writing is beautiful and phenomenal. So I'm all over this one. I'm probably gonna give it some time, probably pace myself, probably read it slowly. You know how it goes with me in the deep books, so. Ooh, but I did think of one bonus question right when my camera shut off for overheating. I thought of it and I was like, this is a good one. Are you participating in any readathons in honor of Black History Month? There are some great ones going on. Blackathon is happening again. There's a new one going on called Black Love, it's like Black love a or something. There's some other great ones that I probably don't know about, but I should, so let me know down below. Of course, Dee Dee's still doing Read So Lit over on Brown Girl Reading, and she, there's like the book of the month. I don't remember what it's called, but I'll, I'll put it right here. 
But yeah, there's some great things going on in the community, you know, let me know. I personally will not be actively participating in a lot of the readathons only because I'm readathoned out. <laughs> I'm ready to thawn out and I just need to, to just slow down a little bit and focus and yeah so but there's some great stuff happening in the community go check it out and that's it for this video I will list the people I tag right now and I will catch y'all in my next one Mwah! happy black history month bye I feel like I need to start singing lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring, ring with the harmonies. I feel like I'm singing it wrong. Of, oh my God. What? How do I, not, how do I not know the words? You know what it is? I don't really ever sing this song. So my brain has just dumped the lyrics as information that I don't need. I gotta redeem myself. <clears throat> Let's do this again. Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the harmonies of liberty Let our rejoicing rise High as the listening skies Let it resound loud as the rolling sea Then everyone's favorite part Sing a song full of faith that the dark past has taught us Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. I'm so dramatic. Facing the rising sun of a new day begun. Let us march on till victory is won. I was a theater kid, okay? I was a theater kid. Can you tell? But yes, there it is. Black History Month has arrived. I'm a little late to the party, but I'm here. I'm here. I'll catch you on my next video. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys.